Welcome to the Computer Made Simple. In this video we will discuss about the components required to build a computer. The components are a processor, motherboard, memory, power supply, video card, hard drive, operating system, and a case. Optionally we can add a monitor, a disk drive also called optical drive, keyboard, and a mouse. In this case my goal was to build a mid-range computer that would last a couple of years. I've opted to go with an Intel LG 1155 socket based PC. All the pieces will go into an Elite 311 case by Cooler Master, a budget oriented case that will support up to full size ATX motherboards. Now for the heart of the system. I've went with the low powered dual core i3 2120 LG 1155 socket processor. We need to make sure that the motherboard will support the socket, in this case the ASUS P8H61M does as seen by the sticker on the box. This motherboard is a macro ATX form factor that is more budget friendly. Next up is memory. With the low price of RAM these days we can add a lot of it. Here going with two sticks of two gigs of DDR3 G skill RAM. Then we need the power supply. This is the component you want to invest the most in. In pre-made systems they often use cheap power supplies that die quickly and can fry more than one component at the same time. A good power supply is 80 plus rated for efficient power usage. We chose a Corsair CX430 Builder Series. An operating system is always required, in this case Windows 7 Home 64-bit version. 500 gig Seagate hard drive to store our OS and data. It's always a good idea to install an optical drive as they are fairly cheap and still practical. The Core i3 does come with onboard graphics, but the client loves to watch HD movies and we decided to give the system a little more power with an ASUS HD 6570 video card. If the user ever needs more muscle down the road, we can always simply swap the card for something beefier. On sale this week was a nice Samsung monitor. Samsung panels are usually of great quality, and this one is LED backlit, so it will use less power, and it has a 920 by 1080 resolution, making it a full HD resolution monitor. Finally comes a wired keyboard and mouse set from Logitech. Now although this is a budget combo, $20 for both, their product and customer service quality simply cannot be beat. Alright, so now we have the parts, and in the next video we will show you how to put them together.